one year ago I made a video where I explained you how to install Ear Trumpet, but now I'm going to show you how to install it with a few advanced tips. So first of all, people are commenting that you had to download it from the Microsoft Store because maybe GitHub looked too complicated. But I'm going to explain to you right now how to install Ear Trumpet and how to use this application. And actually a an free alternative to it is actually built into Windows. So go to google.com and type Ear Trumpet. Then go to their website dot app and then you can get it from the Microsoft Store. And if you do not want this, you have Chocolately and GitHub. But we are going to GitHub. If you scroll down in this GitHub, don't be scared. It's not that complicated. I'm going to explain you step by step how to get there. Just scroll down. And after this, you will see install. Install a trumpet from the Microsoft Store or via command line. And we are going to use command line now because people are saying that you had to get the Microsoft Store. It's very simple. Just copy this piece of text, just control C and then type CMD on your start menu. Run it as administrator to make sure we can install these programs and click on yes. After this, just Ctrl V right here in the command prompt and press enter. After this, it's going to be installed and it's starting the package install. Let it run for only a few minutes and it will tell you when it's finished. You could also install it with Chocolately, but then you first have to install Chocolately. This is a way faster way to install AirTrumpet if you do not want to use the Microsoft Store. So it's successfully installed. You can type exit or just click on the X right here. There you go. Well, now I have Air Trumpet installed on my system. Let's type Air Trumpet to open the application. After this, it will pop up and ask if you want to share scratch data with the team. You probably want to do this because if you're using the application and crashes happen often, the team will be able to know how to fix these problems. So let's click on close. After this, it will probably be in your hidden icons right below. Let's click on these hidden icons and left click drag a trumpet to the taskbar. After this, it's always selected and you can always see it here. So let's click on it and you will see multiple options. You can change the volume per application with the whole system or choose an audio device where you want to change it for. I have many, but we are not going to select any other because otherwise I will probably create some streaming problems. But for the rest, let's go to the settings. You can close this window by clicking on this drop down menu right here and we can right click on the air trumpet to open the settings. After this, you can go to general because it's the only tab available and you can ch change some shortcuts to open the mixer and to change your volume fast or to increase your volume for all devices. What this means is audio devices, not your auto computer. It's the same computer, just audio devices. Well, mouse settings has a scroll wheel to change volume by fly out is open. If we select this and we open the application, we can scroll the wheel right here. Many people will find this interesting. So we are going to leave it on. We have community settings and that is to use the logarithmic volume scale. And I have ChatGPT right here because I had to search it up too. Because a logarithmic volume scale makes volume adjustments to match how our ears change in loudness because it's completely different than a speaker. If you change one decibel, so one dB, it's doubled the volume and it's really complicated um, algorithms, but it means that it's better for your ears and it sounds more logical with volume changes, but we're just going to leave this off. It also has legacy settings and you can change it to get the old icon. I don't think anyone wants this, so let's keep it off. They have an about page and you can change if you do not want to share crash data. For the rest, not much has changed for Intrumpet, but what did change is that Windows released an inbuilt feature. I already made a video about this, 
but it's so much simpler than Air Trumpet and you do not have to install anything. What I do think is better about Air Trumpet is that they still make little tweaks and updates, like scrolling the wheel to change volume. We have here, right below, with the Windows volume, the mixer right here. We can now scroll down with our audio devices and see the volume mixer. We can click on it right here and then you can see applications and all applications I have open. So we can change the volume right here or go back, go here and then to the volume mixer, scroll down and then change the volume right here. So Windows has added this feature, but there are not specific shortcuts. There are still shortcuts or for example, your laptop to change volume, but not really. So actually, I still think that a trumpet is the better alternative. So we can right click on it, settings, general, and then choose any shortcut we want. So the F4, Air Trumpet is still winning after one year of reviewing this application. Windows has made this feature, but yeah, it's there if you want to use it and do not want to install Air Trumpet. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel because I will be making more of these in-depth videos about applications, the top five uh, alternatives maybe to Air Trumpet and to keep you entertained, but also with information that's useful. I'll see you in the next one. I like this video because then I know that you're enjoying our videos. See you later.